prayers are led by Alan Luff, presenter of the Abbey. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us praise God our Creator for the life of Laurence Olivier, for the love and care which he showed for those around him, for the gifts which he used to the enrichment of all, for his dedication, and for the greatness and variety of his achievements, which we celebrate today with thanksgiving. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for all involved in the dramatic arts, that through the living tradition of the stage, in film and in broadcast drama, through collaboration and the bringing of creative energy to fruition and perfection, they may follow the example of Laurence Olivier in deepening our sense of awe and wonder and in opening our eyes to the undiscovered truths of what lies within and beyond ourselves. And this we ask of God, who alone is the source of all that is true and good. Lord, hear us. Lord, Now the sacrist, Paul Ferguson, continues. Let us pray for those who are closest to Laurence Olivier, that they may be upheld by the love of God, and pray that with all the departed we may come to God's eternal kingdom, that we shall know even as now we are known and in joy see our Lord face to face. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. In silence, let us remember Laurence Olivier, each giving thanks for the blessings which came through his life and work. O Lord God, when thou givest to thy servants to endeavour any great matter, grant us also to know that it is not the beginning, but the continuing of the same until it be thoroughly finished, which yieldeth the true glory. Through him who for the finishing of thy work laid down his life for us, our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
now Colin Semper, the canon in residence, and the dean, the Rev. Reverend Michael Main. Bring us, O Lord God, at our last awakening into the house and gate of heaven, to enter into that gate and dwell in that house where there shall be no darkness nor dazzling, but one equal light, no noise nor silence, but one equal music. No fears nor hopes, but one equal possession. No ends nor beginnings, but one equal eternity. In the habitations of thy glory and dominion, world without end. Amen. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth, and all mankind, peace and concord, and to us and to all his servants, life eternal, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you, upon your home, and upon all whom you love this day and always. Do we all holy rites, let there be sung non nobis and te deum, the dead with charity enclosed in clay, and then to Calais and to England then, where ne'er from France arrived more happy men. Walton's coronation te deum ends this thanksgiving service for the life of Laurence Olivier in a burst of celebration. His family sitting there in the choir, proud as they must be of this great tribute that's been paid here in Westminster Abbey today. And as Crown Imperial begins, so the family and the clergy who've taken part start to make their way down the long nave and out of the abbey at the West End service to Laurence Olivier who once said the best advice he ever had as an actor was that before you could play a character you had to love him too and his skill was to make his audiences love these characters not just the heroic but the tragic and the pathetic as well there was a nobility in this art of portraying humanity which made him in his lifetime and perhaps for always the glory of the English stage.